That is correct. Oh, you heard the man. This is Talent Talk. You are listening to the one and only AFN Osan, the Eagle, serving America's best. My name is Army Sergeant Aaron Loy. I'm broadcasting live from your favorite hiding spot on this Wednesday, March 18th. And I have not one, but two very special guests, one more local than the other. And it's all, uh, I would say all the colors of the rainbow, but it's only really two military colors of the rainbow right now. I've got uh, Army Captain Jessica Meyer from 2CAM. Second to none. Second to none for being here. I appreciate having you on the show. I always appreciate you having me. Absolutely. And then I also have, you know him and love him as well. And he's going to be doing more radio, especially once I kind of hightail it out of here. But uh, Senior Airman Stephen Ellis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you uh, you actually just got back from a shoot that kind of both of you guys were kind of helping and coordinating with. Uh, what, what, what were you doing? Right. So... First of all, I am like barely relevant to this show right now, but that is know. not even true. <laughs> not true at all. Not true at you all. You work the at AFN, reason, you're always relevant. The only reason, I mean, it was because I got back from the uh, a shoot at Camp Humphreys where they had the uh, female mentorship program over there. Um, and you know, since it's Women's History Month, sure, you know, sure. we hopped over there, and it was a it was a pretty cool experience. You know, it was definitely eye opening. Okay. For me, as if the listeners can't tell, as a man in the military. Sure. We uh, don't really know what that's like at all. So, like, please enlighten <laughs> us, because we don't. And we're ignorant to begin with. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, and I can't say that, you know, during my, like, three hours there, I got an expansive view, but it certainly seemed, I mean, it, it was really eye-opening to see kind of the, because uh, I think it is a, def- a different experience, you know, it's certainly sure. probably has its own trials and tribulations, and I'm sure, you know, Captain Meyer can definitely elaborate more than I can, but, Yeah, uh, there was yeah. some great mentorship going on, and, um, uh, female camaraderie. Sure. They did a lot of PT, some, some group activities. Yeah. Um, just one-on-one mentorship, you know, just getting to talk to, from senior to um, lower enlisted, getting to talk to one another and sharing each other's, you know, problems and um, issues that may come up or just some of the good things that um, they, they've seen and they've done in the military. Sure. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's just one of the things we want to cover in this hour is that mentorship program. Do you have other things you have kind of lined up on the agenda as well? Yes. Uh, I'd like to talk to a little bit about Key Resolve, some of the achievements. Sure. Um, some of the great things that the soldiers of 2CAB did out in the field. Uh, then, of course, the female mentorship that we just spoke of. And then the Head Start program. The Head Start program as well. So uh, we got lots of stuff in this show. And uh, Airman Ellis, you said you might bounce in and out throughout the interview, depending on how much, you know, other stuff you got to do. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll uh, I'll make this my priority, though, hey, just for you guys. I like that. And by, cab land. And by us, he means you, the listener. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly what I meant. So, yeah, we got lots of two cabs, second to none, two cab land here on Town Talk. So please uh, keep on listening and speaking of this is And We Danced. The man does not lie. You are back here on a Town Talk. Joining me still in the studio, Army Captain Jessica Meyer and St- uh, Senior Airman Stephen Elsa. Just bounced for a little bit, but he's going to come back and talk about the uh, mentorship program that, that we were just uh, talking about a few minutes ago. But, uh, Captain, very much appreciate you being on the show. Before we get into that segment, I do want to talk about Key Resolve, as this is pretty fresh in most people's minds. But uh, for you guys, for 2CAB, kind of let me know how it went. Uh, break it down for me. So it went great for 2CAB. Um, our, we did a completely um, a dynamic mission set that no other combat aviation brigade in the Army really does. Oh, um, really? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go there. Okay. Um, so from recon to air assault, um, we did it all wow. during Key Resolve, um, whether it was simulated or, or, or in actuality. Sure. Um, so we captured that. Um, and then our relationship with AOC, we like met with them, we worked with them. Um, the AAOC is the... Um, the Korean counterparts for the Combat Aviation Brigade here in okay. South Korea. Um, so we met with the, our counterparts, we um, trained with them, we worked with them, and then we also you know, spent a little bit of time getting to know each other um, with a, a multiple dinners, um, some other gatherings mm-hmm. where we you know, played some games, some sure. sports, um, and took the time to really get to know each other. Not all just like military hua, like no. some breaks in there. Exactly, some breaks. So people so. don't go like crazy and insane. Yeah, so we can also know each other as people, sure. you know, not just as soldiers. And, yeah. um, and we can kind of have the camaraderie rather than just the, the war mind sure, of, sure. Know, focusing on key results. Do you so. get usually a good amount of opportunity to document this stuff when these happen? I mean, speaking as PA, do you really get as much like you know, time to get to go and do that, resources, et cetera, or do you always wish you had more or you have way too much? 
I mean, I wish I had more bodies, yeah, <laughs> always sure. more hands sure, to, to sure. take more photos and I can send them out in different directions because mm -hmm. honestly, 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade was all across the peninsula from like all the way down to Busan, all wow. the way up to the DMZ. They a were doing missions. Of coverage. Yeah, they were doing, they had their talk set up. They had their operations centers. They were moving pieces, moving parts. Wow. And um, obviously it's impossible for three people to sure. get out there and cover sure. everything. But um, we had a plan. We went out there and covered as much as we could. We wanted to make sure all the soldiers that were doing great things were, you know, getting the coverage that they deserved and sure. um, getting their faces out there, the stories out there. And um, I think we were were successful. I think, you know, we did what we could and we worked ourselves to death. And absolutely, so. well, not to death. Hopefully, I mean, you're still sitting here. But uh, <laughs> I mean, speaking of doing good things, you guys have people you either want to recognize or certain achievements that you guys had as a unit or specifically? Yeah, um, one thing is they made a cake out in the field. What? They so made a they cake? They made a cake out in the field. Did so they bring an Easy Bake oven with them? Is <laughs> yes, that, is that yes. what happened? <laughs> they borrowed some some of the children's yes. Easy Bake ovens and, and made a cake. The no. cake was made of Play-Doh and you couldn't eat it, but uh, you know, it, it was a cake. Nice. It was a cake nonetheless. <laughs> no, um, right. so the 602nd uh, soldiers from 602nd Battalion um, who are de fact um, workers, they sure have a setup where it's like low, medium, and hot. Oh, wow. And so they put it on a burner, and they like have to sit there and like watch it, obviously. It's not like a cake where you just like put the, like, still, the that's batter. Si that science is still way above my head. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that happens without like an oven, but... Yeah, it's not like just putting it in there and like sure. waiting for the clock. You sure. know, they had to, to monitor it, oh, wow. and um, they had to do it in two separate pieces, and then, you know, put it together, and then they iced it out there and, and did everything. Did you guys take any pictures so. or video or anything? Oh, we did. Oh, we it sounds so cool. And we did a story and, and everything for it. Can so people it's really find great. that online? They can, on Divids or um, okay. the second and Combat Aviation Brigade's Facebook page and Flickr page. You'll have to show me because so. I'm curious now. I want to see what the uh, the field cake yeah. of sorts looks like. And it was awesome because we, we presented it to our, our Korean counterparts and, and made that's it awesome. as part of our dinner. So and that's something they'll never forget, I exactly. imagine. Exactly. You know, like, and I think the soldiers will never forget and they'll have that kind of like experience. When they went out to the field, I made a cake. What did you do? Yeah, right. You know, no so. big deal. No big deal. Yeah. Just made a cake. Yeah, exactly. So that was a pretty good um, achievement. Um, our soldiers also went out and they uh, demonstrated our capabilities to um, 10 members of the National Assembly of the Republic of Korea. Okay. Um, which is a pretty big deal. Like, you know, we're not talking about, you know, just anybody. It was their Congress wow. here in South Korea. So, so we got to show off of sorts and exactly. be like, look what I could do. Yeah, look exactly. Look my hands. Exactly. Yeah. So the soldiers loved it. Um, it was a great time. Lots of media out there, you know, getting coverage of this event. Um, so it, it was dynamic and uh, the soldiers were out there. So the last little piece is um, the achievements is um, just the day in, day out of being out in the field. Sure. I think um, here in Korea, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit colder here yeah. in the month of March. Um, and you, you know, have the resources to kind of do these things a little more on a bigger scale that some soldiers might exactly. not be used to back in the States. Exactly. Um, and so it was on a Republic of Korea, an army base, you know, that we were um, out in the field and... Um, just getting used to that. Yeah. We had a lot of like brand new soldiers that had just came from AIT. And, and they're just wide-eyed at this. They're like, is this big army? Well, sometimes, yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, I was proud of all of the soldiers, you know, like getting out there and like having a smile on their face each day yeah. um, out in the field. Because that's what it, it's about, being a soldier. It's and true. So, um, they did they did great things. And, and at the end of the day, like they learned so much in that, that small amount of time um, that it's something to be proud of and they can walk away and like be like I did key resolve I was there I did it I made a cake I made a cake yeah. you know so good things happen during key resolve for 2CAB for sure that's awesome a big kudos to you guys sounds like a lot of fun I would say I wish I was there but I don't want to lie on air so uh, <laughs> yeah probably best not to <laughs> yeah I was, I was locked in my box for four hours every day doing my show but uh, we all got a part to play and a uh, kudos to you guys for doing your part exactly okay so. cool we're gonna take our first break here we'll be back in 90 seconds with your weather he is correct. This is AFN The Eagle, and you are listening to Talent Talk. And Senior Airman Stephen Ellis, uh, kind enough to come back and spread and share his wisdom from the shoot. He just got back from uh, about mentorshipping uh, specifically for women in the military. It was for, in the military, correct? Right, that's correct. Okay, and you uh, just got back a little while ago, and Army Captain Jessica Meyer still joining me in the studio. Second to none. Second to none from 2CAB Land, and we do want to talk about this program. I know nothing, so please enlighten me. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's uh, It was actually a really cool program. I didn't know that something like that existed. Okay. Um, but it was basically talking to the mentors and some of the mentorees. You know, you gather that 
so so females in the army, women in the in the military actually sure. are fairly rare in comparison to they're in the minority, males. absolutely. Yeah, and you know it it seems like something of value for them to have a a day because it's like a whole day that they have. And that's what I was going to ask: is this an ongoing thing or is it just a single mm -hmm. event thing? They do it once a month. Uh, I, believe? I believe that they want to do it quarterly. They, quarterly. they try to do it as often as they can. Sure. But, um, they get about it, it done about quarterly. Okay. Yeah. And so, speaking to some of the mentorees, I don't know if I keep using that word. Sure, I'm we'll assuming. use it. All right. Well, yeah, sure. Trademark. Right. We'll uh, let Mary Moore know. You'll get but, a check, um, check in the mail. Yeah. But uh, they use this day to kind of come together and bond and, you know, just, just learn from each other. You sure. Know? Um, and it, it's kind of, it's a stick together type of thing, which I think is really awesome. That's. That's totally great as far as, you know, the whole battle buddy concept goes. And I think it does, I think you do bring up a good point in terms of if someone doesn't get that outlet to forum to go to to kind of speak about, hey, maybe the challenges or maybe the pros or the cons, just like in many things in the military, we don't bring it up. Nothing's really going to change, right? Exactly. And they get to start out like, you know, doing PT, like together, physical training in the morning. They wake up, they get to just, it's, it was a large group of over like 150 like females wow, wow. Um, from 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade as okay. well as throughout 2nd Infantry Division. Sure. And uh, they did PT and, and you know, it's, it's, it's different. A, it's different yeah. because like, you know, typically they wake up and they do PT and it's just a group of their soldiers. Yeah. And mostly... They're, they're male. Mm -hmm. um, so to get out there and to do it with your other female, you know, soldiers is kind of, you know, camaraderie building and, you know, teamwork and it, it it's just kind of fun, you know, to get out there and to, to do that. And then um, this morning and this afternoon, they're they're doing more mentorship. They're talking about topics that pertain to, to females in particular. And then um, just getting to be able to do that one on one like mentorship and having those um younger soldiers get out and like find a mentor sure. I think is you know kind of maybe a little bit more challenging than it is especially from the officer side to the the, the soldier side yeah. um, it's different so this is a great opportunity for them to kind of find the people to look up to and and to talk to them that's so. a good point because you're kind of like a float uh, of sorts so you, maybe your pickings are a lot smaller to find that mentor Correct. so any way the military can kind of facilitate that for someone i think is a win-win at that point exactly uh, it makes me think about basic training i went to fort benning all male i mean the rest of them are not like that but in a in a, in a way i thought that was really cool because i didn't quote unquote get distracted so to speak or just be with that one i mean truth be told and it kind of made me think like would they ever do that in the army would they ever do an all-female basic training can you imagine if they did something like that well, i think they did with like uh the women's army corps like back in back the day. in the day you know can you imagine like, if they did that today no i mean that yeah. would be i think that'd be challenging i think it would be challenging <laughs> i'm gonna be very interested. did you have to bounce everyone else yeah i got to uh, run and save the planet okay again. everyone else is gonna get off the mic here he's got uh, bigger and better things to do apparently <laughs> no you got a mission to complete you got stuff to produce yeah. So, yeah, yeah. well, I appreciate the input, and we'll continue on here with uh, Captain Marr, but uh, Airman Ellis, appreciate you, uh, having you on. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. So uh, this mentoring program, is this something that just kind of had the inaugural? Is this the first time they've done it, or is this no. something they've done for a while? They, they, we've been doing it for a while now. Um, I think the big deal is, one, it's Women's History Month. Sure. So, you know, um, but then second of all, we had a, a huge guest panel um, of senior leaders come today, and... Um, you know, kind of represent like the higher ranking structures to come and kind of give um, bigger general topics that may be facing the army in general rather than, um, you know, what's facing second combat aviation sure. brigade. Um, and then it just, there was a lot more people. I yeah. mean, we've had the yeah. turnouts from like, you know, 50 to 60 and now it's, it's more of a focus because great things are coming from it. Yeah. And so and you put more energy into it. Exactly. You're going to get more of a response. Yeah. You're going to get more of a return. And so, um, it was great. Cause I mean, every one of those females that, that w went out today, I mean, they had smiles and they were happy and they were excited. And, and that's what I was going to ask from your vantage point. I know Aaron Ellis was talking about that during the break, but is that something you saw? Do you see a good kind of a return on investment and maybe some of these young soldiers looking at the people above? I did. I, I saw a lot of motivation during physical training. And Good. then I also saw like a lot of like people wanting to be mentors. And I saw a lot of mentees like sure. wanting to go find a mentor and communicate and talk and kind of break those grounds. Like, for example, um, I had a, a soldier 
comment on a senior leader's sweater. Okay. And then immediately they like kind of engaged in this like bonding oh, wow. moment because they kind of shared a common ground. Sure. Which sure. they may not have found. Not if, have happened if it was if, just someone was you know, this part of the installation and that part of the exactly, installation. Exactly. And they were just wearing their uniforms, you know, because sure. they, they got to wear their civilian attire today, their business civilian attire. Nice. So they kind of, kind of got to connect with each other and like make, you know, those connections that they probably wouldn't have because you're in a formation of maybe four or five females sure. where the larger scheme they're, yeah. they're across the post and you just need to find them so so for someone listening right now if they for some reason didn't attend this you said they're looking to do this quarterly ish yes quarterly ish yeah okay. as often as they can so next time you know i know that you have things to do and you sure. guys have missions to complete but sure. um make sure you attend because it, it's good it's good to go find a mentor or, or it's good to be a mentor yeah. in the army so um i think you should get out there and um Make sure the female mentorship program stays strong. I, I couldn't agree more. And as uh, Airman Ellis was saying, we are in uh, Women's uh, National History Month as well. So it's a great way that we can highlight and give more, uh, you know, coverage to that as well. Exactly. Absolutely. So definitely check that out quarterly-ish. Definitely check out the mentorship program there at Camp Humphreys. We're going to take our second break. i got more music after Area 3 Radio News. Welcome back to Talent Talk. My name is Army Sergeant Aaron Loy. Across from me, Army Captain Jessica Meyer. And as always, appreciate having you on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Always second to none. Second to none. We got uh, two cab land as uh, I believe... Was it you or Sergeant Smith that first introduced that to phrase? Sergeant Smith. I, I believe it was as well. I won't, I won't take that, yeah, won't, that phrase. We'll, we'll let, him, let him have the glory from that one. But, uh, yes, if you missed the show so far, uh, shame on you. It's a really good one. We had Airman Ellis uh, on earlier a couple times talking about the mentorship program for uh, female soldiers at the installation there, different kind of units getting involved. And that one sounds uh, pretty awesome. Quarterly-ish is what they're kind of yeah, shooting ish. for. So definitely check that one out. Uh, key Resolve crazy key resolve for many people involved but uh, you guys no exception we're all over the place literally literally and yeah. figuratively you guys made a cake in the field yes which it's kind of sad that that's the highlight for me but uh, <laughs> i think that's really cool but uh, i digress a little bit here i want to talk about a program i want to highlight one that if you're listening right now maybe you haven't heard of yet but if you fall under a certain kind of uh, requirements you're going to be required to do this program and it's called the head start program correct and uh fill me in on this one um so the head start program is um to get soldiers that just arrived here in south korea um to know and understand the culture the traditions uh, little nuances about uh south korea that can help them while they're here sure um and their tour here in uh, south korea and um, it is mandatory so um if you think you're going to dance around it Fred Astaire style, it's not going to happen. No, and, and, to, and to be quite honest, it's just really good for soldiers to get out there and like to be immersed in the, in the culture. Um, Camp Humphreys actually does it through the Pyeongchang University. Okay. Um, so soldiers will go on a bus to Pyeongchang University for the three days. Welcome back. It is 2.56, currently 51 degrees. So got some rain. Still going to continue to see some throughout the rest of your Wednesday. Tonight, low of 39 degrees as we move into your Thursday. Be a beautiful 67 degrees clear skies. If you want to trade in those presidential flashcards and get some Korean money instead, I do not blame you. One dollar will get you 1,102 Korean won, courtesy of the DOD Community Bank. Your exchange fuel prices for today, um, unlended is $2.61, premium is $2.98, and diesel is $3.07. I very much appreciate that. She is Army Captain Jessica Meyer from 2CAB, second and none. As always. Of course, at uh, 2CAB lands, and I uh, appreciate having you on the show. It's a really great kind of jam-packed hour. We're kind of running short on time, so we had so much to talk about. But I do want to ask the very important question, did we miss anything, anything else we want to put out there before we wrap it up? Um, just the one thing is um, the soldiers who participated in Key Resolve and 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade, um, great job. I know that everything you guys did, all the hard work, um, paid off. And now we can kind of resume, go back to like a normal schedule, Business which is as usual. still chaos and like, <laughs> <laughs> like there's no white space on your calendar and yeah, we all right. know this. But um, just a great job out there and 2nd um, Combat Aviation Brigade has a great team. So just know that you're part of a great organization and your your teamwork is definitely important. And if you're part of 2CAB or you're not, you guys have a lot of places online you can go to kind of check out some of the stuff you guys do? Yes, always. 2nd uh, Combat Aviation Brigade's Facebook page, Flickr page, YouTube page um, has a gambit of, of stuff from all of the events that 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade does. So go check it out, like the page, share the page, post things to your page, um, and you'll find all 
um, things happening about Second Company Youth Brigade. There you go. Too easy. Very much appreciate having you on for Town Talk. We're going to say goodbye now as we're close to the top of the hour. Got some music for you. It's Della Mitri with Roll to Me. So for Army Captain Jessica Meyer, for myself, Army Sergeant Aaron Loy, appreciate you listening.